Howdy folks. Today we're making a project from a book, uh, the Smuggler's Cove book to be exact. It's not something I've ever heard of before, but I did have all the ingredients here at the house and I mostly followed the recipe. It's called hibiscus liqueur. Let's go. Now, Smuggler's Cove is a great book full of great information, lots of information about tiki and about rum. It's a great bar in San Francisco. If you haven't been, you should definitely go. If you haven't bought the book, you should definitely buy the book. Now, the story begins on page 145, where there is a recipe for a drink called For Pete's Sake. A great name. Now, it calls for homemade hibiscus liqueur, which you can find on page 331. Turning to page 331, we'll see that this recipe is in two parts. First, you infuse rum with ginger, clove, and hibiscus flowers. Then you sweeten it up with honey and simple syrup, and then you make the drink. Now, before I go on to show you exactly what I did, I do have a bone to pick with this recipe because it tells you to infuse one liter of rum with hibiscus, ginger, and cloves. But then to make the liqueur, it says only to use two and a half cups of what you just made. So then I have a cup and a half of infused rum sitting around. No, 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 Smuggler's Cove, I am not doing that. Right away, I am changing this recipe. Instead of using a liter of rum, I'm just gonna use a 750. That's three cups of rum. And then I'll just use three cups of rum when I make the liqueur. Now here's what I did. I got myself a bottle of Appleton Estate Signature. Delicious Jamaican rum, a little bit funky. If you don't like a funky rum, you could do this with another aged rum. Now I added some ginger. The recipe calls for three quarter sized pieces, which is pretty approximate, so I just guessed. I put in 10 cloves, and I left that for a day. After a day, I strained it out. I added three quarters of a cup of dried hibiscus flowers. I have hibiscus flowers left over from when I made sorrel. Sorrel is a Jamaican holiday drink that I like to make each year around the holidays. If you want to know how to make that, I've got a video all about it. I'll link to it. Now I let the hibiscus sit in the rum for 48 hours. And yes, that's two days. And then I strained it out. Now I'm going to deviate from the recipe again when I sweeten this. The recipe says to use half a cup of honey, which you heat up to make it runny, I think, so it'll dissolve in the rum. But I just did honey syrup because I already had that lying around. Put in a half a cup of that. It calls for a cup of simple syrup. I did half a cup of my regular gom syrup, and then I used half a cup of this hibiscus syrup that I got for free. If you wanna know more about this hibiscus syrup, there's also a video about that from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, go check it out. Delicious hibiscus syrup from New Orleans. I figured there's no real reason not to bump up the hibiscus levels. And then that's the whole thing. Let's taste it. It's got a beautiful red color, of course. It's got a, a funkiness from the rum for sure. I smell a little bit of those ginger and spice notes. Um, a little bit of like a ginger burn, not, not overpowering. Hibiscus is, it's, it's tart, but it's also got sort of um, a, sort of a dusty dryness to it, which is kind of nice. And you get a little bit of that, a clove uh, aftertaste. The hibiscus syrup has a little bit of cinnamon in it, so it's, uh, it's coming through a little bit as well. Delicious, and I bet this would be good with just with a little bit of rum or uh, with soda water, maybe hibiscus liqueur, rum, soda water, something like that would be really good. A thousand possibilities. So now on to the drink, which is called For Pete's Sake, which of course, that, you've gotta love that. The drink calls for Pisco, lime, hibiscus liqueur, cherry hearing, simple syrup, and angostura. Now, for pisco, I'm gonna use my go-to Caravedo Quebranta, delicious. For lime, I'm using fresh lime juice. We just made the hibiscus liqueur, but instead of cherry hearing, I'm gonna use my homemade cherry bounce. What's cherry bounce, you ask? Only George Washington's favorite. I got a whole video about it. Go check that out. And finally, there's simple syrup. I'm using my gum syrup and Angostura bitters are just Angostura bitters. Now the book, of course, says to use a drink mixer and to pour it gated into a double rocks glass. Now, I don't have a drink mixer. I'm still trying to find one at the thrift store. So I'm just gonna shake it and pour it over some crushed ice. Let's go to the montage. <laughs>
Pete's sake. Still love that name. Let's give it a taste. Pisco is amazing. Pisco is so mm. flowery, you know, aromatic. It's got mm -hmm. um, it's got a nice lime tartness. The hibiscus gives it this sort of, yeah, tart, I guess is the right word. Um, a little musty. The cherry adds a nice sweetness, a nice roundness to the whole thing. Um, is it too sweet? It might be, eh, I don't know. It, it's, it's, on the it's right on the edge of being a little too sweet. You could cut back on the sugar if you wanted to. Uh, but the bitters come through too. The bitters give it a little, just a little hint of like a little spiciness. Yeah, this drink is tropical, but it's not a rum drink. So it's a little bit more unusual. Um, it's like, it's bright. It's, uh, it's bright and tart. Uh, it's, it's delicious. I don't think I've found any bad drinks in Smuggler's Cove yet. And hopefully I never will. All right, conclusions. Hibiscus liqueur, delicious Smuggler's Cove, great book. But I do have a liter of this hibiscus liqueur now. Um, if you have any good ideas as to maybe what I could use it for, uh, put them down in the comments because I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.